In this lesson, we'll be creating a body for stock setup. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create a body copy for modifications and use direct modeling tools. To get started, we want to upload the supplied file, completing a multi-axis setup. We've already taken a look at this file many different times. We've programmed our link with a multi-axis toolpaths. We've also taken a look at creating our soft jaws and programming those as well. But now we need to take care of all of the other aspects of setting up and running a multi-axis part like this. The first of which is going to be preparing the stock. So we're starting with stock and we need to cut a feature in it so that it can be held in our fixture. These features can be different depending on the type of fixture you're using. If you have something like a raptor clamp, you could be cutting a dovetail into your part. Inside of the data panel, inside of our samples section for CAM, there are plenty of different work holding devices that you can simply grab and insert into your own designs. We're going to be going off of the stock that's in this model, and we're going to be cutting it down. But the first thing that we need to do, or the first thing that I like to do, is create a stock body representation of it. When we create our CAM setup, we can automatically generate the stock there. But I think it's a good practice for us, especially when dealing with multi-axis parts, to explore how we can create that stock as a solid body or import it as an STL. And again, we've already looked at these several times, but we want to make sure that we understand the process, so practice never hurts. To get started, I'm going to activate my stock component, and I'm going to hide the stock prep fixture. Now that we're dealing with just the stock, if we expand this, you'll see that we have one body. I'm going to change the name of this body to ready to machine and we want to create a new body or a copy of this that can be our stock representation. In order to do that I'm going to right click and I'm going to select copy. Then using control V on the keyboard I'm going to paste a copy of it. I can hide the original and I'm going to change the name of the copy to starting stock. There are many different ways that we can create this original stock. The way that I like to do it is by using my direct modeling tools by selecting these faces and hitting delete on the keyboard. Doing this on the other side, this is a quick way for us to create that stock representation that's based on the original part. So you can see here, now we know exactly what areas we need to remove in order to take it from the stock that we're starting with to a part that can be held in our multi-axis fixture. So I have both of these bodies inside of a single component. I'm going to show the starting stock and hide the ready to machine body. Then I'm going to activate my top level again. I'm going to show my stock prep fixture. Then I'm going to navigate to an ISO position, double click my middle mouse wheel or go to fit and use F6 on the keyboard. Then I want to save my file before I move on to the next step. 